pretty good way to do things. Hey, uh, Gina Thorne is with us from Lakeview Health. We appreciate her coming by on this beautiful Friday morning. We're going to spend a little bit of time talking about what Lakeview Health can do. If there's somebody in your family or your circle of friends and they are struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, uh, we want you to uh, pay some special attention and maybe jot some things down like phone numbers and websites. We're going to give you some of that information. We're going to spend some time, too, with some other folks that are part of the professional team at Lakeview Health. And those are your guests this morning. So maybe you could introduce them, Gina. I would love to. These are some very special people that I work with. Um, So we brought in today Amy Brantley, who is our certified recovery coach and alumni coordinator for the Rose of Lakeview, which is our women's program. Say hi, Amy. Good morning. And then we have Nick Gosselin, who is our recovery coach and alumni coordinator for the STAR program, which is our men's program. Hi, Gina. Hi. So it's really good to have them here. I'm really excited to be able to showcase some really amazing talent at Lakeview who work really closely with our not just our patients in the program but also for our alumni those people that are walking the walk of recovery and so it's really exciting to be able to have you guys here today yeah thank, thank, you. thank you for being here and of course uh, individually you each have your own story to tell right Amy yes. yeah yes. <laughs> and um, maybe share with that just a little bit and then we'll get into all the great things that you do professionally for other folks Okay, good morning. Um, I am actually an alumni of the program as well. So wow. I am very, um, I, I believe in this program deeply. I was struggling with addiction myself, uh, didn't have anywhere to go or any resources. Um, I wound up finding this wonderful place in Jacksonville. I am local and went through the program and learned so much about myself you know, and how to um, begin a new life. And it's amazing. Um, So I love being able to do that and help other people. So Amy is with us, of course, from Lakeview Health. You can learn more by going to lakeviewhealth.com. How long did you struggle with uh, addiction? Um, I began using when I was very young, Mm -hmm. um, probably about like 12 years old. So um, I didn't go into treatment until my 30s. Okay. Alcohol and drugs or both? Yes, both. Okay. (laughs) Interesting. Talk to us about that, though, from a woman's perspective, your sense, especially because now you're a professional helping others. uh, Are there I would imagine there are distinctively different issues for men versus women when they're dealing with addiction. I think for me personally, a lot of it was um, self-esteem. Just um, Mm. my story in particular was um, how I grew up always dependent, you know, in a relationship, very codependent. Um, So having a voice of my own to voice my needs that I needed help was probably a big barrier. Also, um, being a mother, you know, being responsible, having to... You know, I'm, you know, parent teacher conferences and stuff like that. You know, what are other people going to think? So it was, you know, that pride and that role as well um, was a little bit disconcerting for me. So you said you started uh, abusing drugs and alcohol as young as age 12. When do you think people, family members and those around you first noticed there might have been an issue? Um, Probably not until after high school. Wow. Um, you know, when my life skills were probably not the best, my mm-hmm. choices uh, were not always conducive, you know, to, to progress. Um, struggle through college. Um, I'd like to think I hit it well, but, you know, just like you said, the, the people that were close to me probably knew. But I don't think that they understood that there were resources to help me as well. Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to drill down to is for people that are listening to us right now who uh, have a loved one who they think is struggling with drugs and alcohol like you were way back in the day you know what are some things they could be looking out for that might give them an indication that hey they need to step up sort of their active engagement with their loved one just hopefully they can be honest with them you know come at them with compassion and understanding um try the best they can to be not non-judgmental um just really listen to their concerns voice as a family member or loved one, uh, voice your concerns um, and let them, you know, respond and then let them know that you also are willing to help them in right. whatever way you can. Uh, once again, uh, that's Amy. She is with us and she's part of the professional staff at uh, Lakeview Health, which is located right here in Northeast Florida. You can learn more by going to lakeviewhealth.com. That's lakeviewhealth.com. And we're going to get to Nick here in just a minute to get the other gender's perspective. But What are some issues that women you think have to deal with when they're going into drug and alcohol abuse treatment? I mean, are there things that are specific for women that, you know, that are just that the guys don't have to deal with? Um, Again, I think for some of the women that I work with, it is that role of mother and caretaker. So I think one of the big concerns is who's going to take care of things while I'm gone, Mm. you know. Um, that's one of the big struggles. And again, um, 
that self-confidence is something I see a lot of women come into the program lacking that they're able to gain from us. All right. So when you work with them, how do you help them get some of their self-confidence back? Not to give away all your secrets, but maybe you can give away one. Um, I really let them know that the strength that it takes for them to voice that they need help and actually be willing to make that change. Just, I really encourage them that that's where that strength began and they, they have everything it takes to succeed. It's just a matter of, you know, somebody helping them hold their hand along the way. Wow. Amy Brantley is with us. That's her voice. And of course she is with Lakeview health and Gina, it's amazing when you talk with someone like Amy, she's obviously today helping all these other folks. And yet she, dealt with drug and alcohol addiction for a long time. Yeah, she's really humble about her her story. I'm always very impressed when I hear her tell her story because um, she came from a, a really dark place and she's been able to take her strength, hope, and experience and really help women and men um, across the board understand that recovery is possible. I mean, she's a shining example of what recovery looks like. And, you know, we all know what's going on right now with the Olympics and Michael Phelps, and obviously he's a walking treasure of recovery as well. But we've got those also every day in our community, like Amy and Nick, who are, um, you know, our quiet ambassadors around the recovery movement. And so for those of you that are listening, we know that this thing of addiction is painful and it's hard and you're living in chaos. But the reality is, is that there is hope and there is opportunity and there are people that that are functional members of society that are just doing great things. And so um, so we're really grateful to have people like Amy and Nick on board because they're pretty cool people. Absolutely. Gina, obviously the first step uh, involves usually a phone call, right? It does. And, you know, we have got 24-7 intake staff members available right now willing to talk to you. If you're not sure if you've got a, a problem or if you're not sure if your family member has a problem, give us a call at 866-316-5113 and someone can talk to you right now. Um, please give us a call. All right. Once again, that's Lakeview Health. Com. That is the website. We're going to put all this information up, too, on our Facebook page at WSOS Radio. But again, that telephone number, 866-316-5113. Commodores here on 103.9 WSOS. We're live in downtown St. Augustine. And on uh, Friday mornings, we spend some time with Gina Thorne from Lakeview Health. If there's someone in your circle of friends, someone maybe that you work with who's having to experience this in their family or just uh, just about any other environment, if you're dealing with drug and alcohol abuse or addiction, obviously the folks at Lakeview Health can help, they, right? They sure can. Um, we've been in the community for 15 years, and we've treated hundreds and hundreds of families and, and their and their loved ones with addiction. Um, what people don't realize is that oftentimes there are other precursors that cause people to use. And so it's not always just somebody who was using recreationally in high school and then got addicted. Sometimes it's an issue of chronic pain. Sometimes it's an issue of mental health issues that um, oftentimes can uh, precipitate the issue of drug and alcohol abuse. And so we really encourage those who are struggling with those what we call co-occurring disorders, depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, to really give us a call. Because if you are using drugs or alcohol to cope and to address those types of mental health issues, we can help you with that. We can help you get off those drugs and alcohol, help you learn how to cope with your with, with your mental health issues in a way where you won't need to be intoxicated. So definitely give us a call if you have questions. Absolutely. And that phone number is real easy. We're going to let Gina give that out and then we'll put that up on our Facebook page too at WSOS Radio, but it is 866-316-5113. And then we also invite you to take a look at our website at lakeviewhealth.com. We've got lots of great information in there that talks about our program, meet our clinical staff. You get a chance to um, interact with our intake department through a live chat. So please give us a call or take a look at our website. Yeah. Give them a call. Once again, that number 866-316-5113. And let them know, too, that you heard Gina on the radio here this morning. Hey, in the last break, we were talking with Amy Brantley about her story and all of her great work with the women who uh, become residents and work at Lakeview Health. And now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, things from a male perspective. Uh, Nick Goslin is here. Nick, good morning. How are you, sir? Wonderful. And yourself? Fine. And just like with Amy, we want to ask you, give us uh, your story because it's a pretty good one, too. Uh, so I grew up in Kansas and uh, at 22 years old. I had been using for 10 years and uh, couldn't find a way out. Right. And uh, found Lakeview Health's phone number online, called the call center, and within you know, 45 minutes they had me on a flight from Kansas City down to Jacksonville. 
and uh, completely changed my life about four years ago. Wow. Wow. So what were you uh, abusing? Everything. Um, I was one of those that uh, it, it doesn't discriminate. So I, I was using alcohol and drugs. Right. What happened to make you make a phone call? Because, I mean, that doesn't seem like that's the common story that somebody wakes up and says, hey, I'm going to take this initiative. I'm going to make a call, get on a plane, make it all happen right now. Absolutely not. Uh, I just wanted a way out. Uh, hmm. I, didn't, I couldn't live with or without drugs anymore. Um, so for reality. you, what was bottom? Um, the bottom was being burned, uh, burning all the bridges, uh, family members. Uh, I didn't have anybody left. Mm. Uh, just feeling really alone. Right, right. You obviously now work with other men who are at a different point or at a point that you were at years ago. Absolutely, and it, it keeps it that fresh in my mind. You know, it's it's truly amazing to see the guys come in with one day sober and leave with in between 45 and 60 and just the elation in their face, the, the true happiness. Yeah. Obviously, it would seem to me, uh, as a layman looking from the outside, that there aren't that many men that necessarily, you know, have the courage to make the phone call like you did. I mean, how do people come into the program? Um, so it it helps a lot when family members um, either point something out or, you know, just start mentioning things. Uh, I highly suggest that family members go to Al-Anon hmm. first. Um, they're a very helpful resource when it comes to how to approach family members with addiction or friends with addiction or just loved ones um, as far as having a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend with someone that's in you know, addiction or alcoholism. Right. Just like we asked uh, Amy before, and she mentioned that women going into treatment have to deal with maybe their moms. Maybe they feel they have a, obviously a responsibility to other family members, a spouse, a boyfriend, what have you. What are the gender specific issues that men are dealing with when they decide to go into drug and alcohol abuse treatment? So a lot of guys come in and they've stacked and stuffed emotions for years and years. We, uh, we as men have been brought up, and I know I was, um, to not show emotion, mm -hmm. um, to man up, uh, don't cry. Right. Um, it's, it's not that big a deal. You can get through it. And it, it was one of those things where I came into treatment and uh, I learned how to uh, properly access those emotions and, and to show them. Once again, that's Nick Goslin, and he's part of the professional team at Lakeview Health uh, right here in Northeast Florida. If you're someone out there who is struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, obviously we would encourage you to reach out to lakeviewhealth.com. That's lakeviewhealth.com. And indeed, you spent a lot of time, Nick, helping men at Lakeview Health one-on-one. -on -one. Talk to us a little bit about what recovery coaching is all about, because you also work with people who leave the program, right? Absolutely. We stay in contact with patients for, you know, up to years at a time. Wow. Um, so this is it's it's really amazing to see the the after product when they leave treatment and how they just um, move forward in their own lives, you mm -hmm. know, getting that real life together. But we, as a recovery coach, I'm there as a resource for them yeah. um, to help them access the recovery community, um, whatever they need as far as that goes. What are some of the bigger challenges that men and women face? But obviously you work with men every day um, when they do leave and they are in recovery. Is it doubt among family members around them that they're going to be able to remain sober? Doubt within themselves that they're going to be able to remain sober? Or what, what are the, the main challenges you help them overcome? The fear, mm -hmm. um, the fear of change, um, the fear of losing their identity, um, just coming out and and being that courageous individual and losing their identity so talk to me a little bit about that what losing their identity as a as a drug user um some people are afraid of just losing their identity as in uh changing from one thing to another being right. being sober and and being a, a different person yeah interesting all right Good stuff, huh, Gina? It is, and wow. it's interesting because when we adopted the recovery coaching program, what, almost three years ago, Amy, right? Um, we didn't have the resources in place to help our patients deal with those life skills issues that often trip people up in early recovery. So you can do a really solid incubator experience of treatment at Lakeview and eat, breathe, and sleep recovery, and people can tell you where to be and what to do. But when you leave treatment, that's when real world hits you. And yeah. so at that point, you need to have a lifeline, if you will, and that's what Amy and Nick function as is a lifeline to help them with those early life decisions that I think Amy you told me one time just grocery shopping right after coming out of treatment right something something that simple was um very hard for me because I had not experienced it sober 
So right. it was really overwhelming. So those daily life skills are something that Nick and I help walk them through. Mm -hmm. right. And that can be, you know, it could be a, a deal breaker for a lot of people. You know, some people are just too stressed. They can't manage it. And sometimes they resort back to old behaviors like using. So having people like Nick and Amy in the program allow us to help create that safety net for our, our patients, now alumni. So, Amy, in your case, you have been uh, sober for how long? Um about six and a half years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. September, God willing, will be seven years. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's you. a tremendous accomplishment. And Nick, it's been a long time for you too, right? Yeah. November will be uh, four years. Wow. Wow. So uh, along that way, both for your six plus years and Nick's four years, uh, have been there, have there ever been times of doubt or questioning? I mean, where you feel a uh, temptation still? Today, I don't necessarily think that I feel a temptation. Um, that does not mean I don't still get overwhelmed and stressed. Um, right. And that's where practicing all those coping skills and all the, the things that I've learned um, in treatment and in my aftercare um, come into play. Right. So um, I don't think the temptation, the first year for me was very difficult because, like Nick mentioned, living life on life's terms without that that thing, that crutch that I had um, was difficult, um, but because I had the support system in place that Lakeview gave me when I left treatment, um, I utilized it um, and I was able to, you know, persevere and wow. have a fabulous life today. Well, it's a great story. That's Amy Brantley. She's with Lakeview Health. And Nick, I would imagine the same sort of situation for you, too. I mean, you must encounter times when you get stressed, right? Absolutely. It's, that's life on life's terms right there. Um, right. Whatever you want to call it, adulting. Um, it's hey, just, that's a new term. I like that. I know. I'm going to practice that on my 14-year-old. Yeah, we got, a, we got a lot of 60-year-olds here at the radio station who could do some adulting. adulting. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to steal that one from you, Nick. It's, uh, you know, I, I went from being 12 years old to 22 years old really quick. Wow. And I had to realize that, uh, that I've got to learn all these life skills that I've, I've been missing out on, uh, doing laundry, um, applying for jobs, yeah. <laughs> car loans, uh, leasing agencies. It's just, uh, it's, it's definitely different, but there are people in the program that are willing to help you all along the way, whether it's Amy and I or someone else in, uh, in, in the recovery world, right. You know, everybody's there to help each other. That's how this whole thing goes together. It's just one addict or one alcoholic helping another. What's amazing, uh, Gina, when you bring in the folks who work as part of the professional team at Lakeview Health, and they all, so many of them have their own stories of, you know, conquering addiction, um, it is inspiring, you know, and it helps mm -hmm. us to understand how people really can be cured of this disease. And that's mm -hmm. something that you don't get to say very often about any health status, but that's indeed what's happened here. Yeah. So if people are listening to us right now, and of course, they're at the beginning end of this mm -hmm. process, you mm -hmm. know, they're dealing with family members who are struggling, what should they do? Well, we, we obviously have some wonderful people that are on the phones today ready to take your calls and to answer any questions that you might have about where you are in this in this situation. You might be confused as to whether or not your loved one, well, they're just drinking on the weekends, so it can't be that bad. Or, you know, maybe once or twice during the week or they're doing it every day and it's becoming more and more pervasive. Give us a call at 866-316-5113 or, again, take a look online at lakeviewhealth.com. I know that a lot of people have questions about treatment. We can give those answers to you. All right. Once again, go to lakeviewhealth.com. That's lakeviewhealth.com. The Moody Blues here on St. John's County's WSOS 103.9 FM. We're live in St. Augustine this morning. We hope you're having a good day. It's pretty darn nice out. 82 degrees on our way up to a high today of about 90 degrees. But with all the humidity and not much wind, it will feel like 101 degrees this afternoon. Even warmer if you're west of I-95. Gina Thorne is here with us from Lakeview Health. And, of course, Lakeview Health is an amazing resource for people in our part of the world who are dealing with drug and alcohol addiction. And indeed, uh, they have programs that are gender specific. We do. In May, we actually launched our new gender specific program. We have a women's specific program called the Rose of Lakeview. And then we have a men's program, the Star of Lakeview. And there's very intentional reasons why we did that. For years, we were a mixed gendered program, but we felt like we needed to give each um, group its individual uh 
response to what they needed in treatment. And so men go into treatment for very different reasons than women do, and we wanted to create treatment um, outcomes that were going to be responsive to that. So we've adopted some great curriculum, evidence-based, science-based curriculum that we're using for both the men and women, helping men recover and then helping women recover so that they can look at what are some of those issues that constantly um, come up for them that they need to address. And so one issue that we find with women most specifically is issues around trauma. And then to Nick's point, we see a lot of issues that come up around um, emotions and not being able to articulate how they feel. And I guess one time I heard somebody say, Nick, that it's this idea of building a brotherhood. You know, when you're in a program where you're with other men and you have this opportunity to develop healthy relationships as a brotherhood, would that be accurate? Absolutely. It's it's all about um, one guy helping another, you mm-hmm. know, just being that, that friend when, when someone else needs someone. What do you think about the idea of it being gender specific now that we've moved in that direction? Uh, it's truly amazing um, as far as being a little less distraction free um, and not worrying about uh, trying to impress anyone. It's more about the, the camaraderie. The atmosphere there is, is a lot different. Um, you know, sometimes tensions run high, but a lot of times the guys just pull closer together more than anything else. You know, they're really, they're glad they're with other men. Yeah. Women can be an amazing distraction, huh? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, seriously, I would imagine it brings in a whole new element into treatment because you're having to deal with romantic entanglements and all that. So at least we're, we're setting that set of issues on the table because Lord knows there's plenty of other issues to deal with. Yeah, the codependency is really there yeah. um, as far as either relationships or just trying to find someone else or something else to fill that void on the inside, Yeah, whether it is uh, a relationship or drugs and alcohol. Well, I would think most people listening would understand, too, what you were talking about earlier, the need to be open and honest emotionally, right, to show your feelings. Uh, that's probably easier to do with a group of guys and in a mixed gender setting, right? Absolutely. You're not trying to impress anyone. And right. The, with the co-occurring issues, um, a lot of these guys suffer from anxiety to uh, manic depression, mm. and that's all underlined, and then the drugs were just there to you know, self-medicate. So it's... It's really awesome to see the guys, you know, pull themselves together more than anything else. The therapists are there to help guide the sessions, but the men really do a lot of the therapy um, with each other. That's Nick Goslin, by the way, and he's part of the professional staff at Lakeview Health, and Amy Brantley's here as well. Gina Thorne, of course, joins us on Fridays, and she, of course, is part of the team at Lakeview Health as well. And, of course, Nick points out something that's fairly key. A lot of people who are in need of recovery, have other mental health issues. And how does Lakeview Health approach that? We have a really robust medical team with psychiatrists and internal medicine doctors and mid-level practitioners that work with our patients to address those mental health issues. Um, In addition to that, we also recognize that addiction can take a toll on the body. So there's a lot of acute medical issues that often surface with people who have addiction. Some people struggle with hep C. Some people come into our program who might have HIV, who have long history of issues with their liver failure, we've got the capacity within our program to be able to address those issues. And so what we, what we recognize is addiction isn't just the absence of drugs and alcohol. It's a holistic approach. And we take an integrative approach where we're, effect, we're effectively looking at the mind, body, and spirit in helping someone when they leave treatment be completely balanced. We want them to actually start out with a balanced approach where we're looking at all aspects of their, of their life, not just the removal of alcohol and other drugs. Yeah. Once again, that's Gina Thorne with Lakeview Health. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about a great resource here in our community in St. John's County in Northeast Florida for those who are dealing with drug and alcohol addiction. You can learn more by going to lakeviewhealth.com. That's lakeviewhealth.com. You can also call toll-free 866-316-5113. That call is not going to cost you anything, right, Gina? Not a dime. Yeah, 866-316-5113. Amy is here with us as well. Amy... You know, maybe some of our people that are out there listening, they have a family member, a loved one, or a good friend who is in need of, you know, the types of services that Lakeview Health can provide. But they even have some anxiety about, well, if I'm even able to convince my loved one to go into treatment, what's it going to be like? You know, we've all seen the TV shows. We have a sense of, you know, whether they come out of an intervention or what have you. If somebody shows up at a rehab center, we don't really know what happens after we drop them off. So maybe you can like pull the curtain back a little bit and tell us what goes on. I'd be happy to. Um, I completely understand being there myself, the anxiety um, of the unknown, the fear of the unknown. So when um, our clients come to Lakeview, they're greeted, you know, with staff members. 
they're assessed by nursing and doctors, they're introduced to the community. Um, and is it very similar to what Nick said, the women are always able to support one another, you know, so we do have not just the staff, but the community of the women that are already there inviting them into letting them know, you know, you're going to be okay. Um, so that's one of the big things, uh, they're taken, you know, and they can get settled and they can get rest, you know, get like Gina mentioned, they, uh, it's holistic. So we worry about, you know, getting their health needs met first, then they're integrated into the community where they're kind of, you know, mentored up with another person that's already in treatment, uh, to let them know this is how things work. You know, here's the, they're given a tour of the facility, their walk through what the programming is going to be like. And that's where I have the opportunity to meet them as well when they come to treatment. And my specific role is to let them know, um, to kind of ease what the treatment is going to be like for them and how the things that they're going to learn in treatment are going to be a long term, you know, in their recovery. So it's amazing to kind of make that connection for them. And again, sharing my story with the women specifically um, is amazing because it shows them that there's there's hope. Right. I would think, too, with a lot of family members, I guess because it's a new thing for them, you know, maybe they, this is the first time they've had someone in their family who is, has been struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. They genuinely don't know how this is all going to happen. Of course, you all deal with this every day, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, and you see success every day. Yes. So how do you convey to family members that, hey, there's a really good chance of success here. It's not all doom and gloom. I would just say, you know, um, there are no failures. There's nobody that... Um, can be unsuccessful if they don't want to be. Everybody has the opportunity and the strength within themselves to go ahead and do this. Um, it's just a matter of taking that first step. There you go. All right, good stuff. Uh, Gina, once again, uh, people can call. It's not going to cost them anything. Any questions that you have, including issues about affordability and insurance coverage, I know that's a big hurdle for a lot of folks, but all your questions can be answered and and uh, it can be done in a very casual way. What number should they call? We invite them to call 866-316-5113. Um, one other thing I want to add real quick, Kevin, is that we recognize that a lot of people who are unsure about this whole patient treatment thing often think of it as, if you remember the old movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, yeah. and people were locked into hospitals and... Our facility is nothing like that. We have a very warm, inviting facility that doesn't feel like a hospital. Um, we're a place where people can be solution-focused. We're a place where people can come home and actually find out who they really are. And so um, we want people to know that when they come into treatment at Lakeview that that it's not a hospital setting. We have resources and services there to help you understand how you can get back on track and how you can course correct so that you can find the life that you want. Absolutely. Once again, that number toll free, 866-316-5113. That's 866-316-5113. We know that most of you are driving around, so you're probably just going to go online and Google this, but you can uh, also go to the website lakeviewhealth.com. We'll put this up on our Facebook page, too, at WSOS Radio, so check that out. We'll be right back. A recovery coach for the, the Rose at Lakeview Health, which is our women's-specific program, and then Nick Goslin is our recovery coach and alumni coordinator for the Star of Lakeview, which is our men's program, and both of them work very closely with not just our patients while they're in the program, but they also spend a lot of time with our now of alumni, um, working with them on early recovery skills. Yeah. And what's great too, if you're just joining us, uh, both of them have amazing stories of recovery in their own right, where they've been successful. They've overcome some amazing odds, but, uh, and indeed, Dick, you'd probably be the first person to say you've got a great story, but there's so many other people that have, you know, participated in the programs at Lakeview Health and they've got great stories of success too. Absolutely. That's, uh, one of the main things about Lakeview is the, the staff members, um, most of them are either in recovery or have family members that are in recovery and can really relate to the alcoholic and addict that come in um, with that desire to just meet someone who knows what they feel. Yeah, absolutely. And Amy, I know that's been your experience. You've had a tremendous story where you overcame a decade plus period of addiction and all sorts of challenges. And now you're a you know, professional staff member helping people that you know experience some of the things you experience. That has to be rewarding each and every day. It is. Um, I'm just actually very grateful for the opportunity, um, you know, to be an advocate, if you will, for recovery. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that what we want to make sure people understand when they're listening today is that we are a solution for the pain and chaos that you're experiencing. Even if you're not sure if you have a problem or if your family member has a problem, we're here for you. We can answer any questions that you might have. We want you to give us a call at 866-316-5113. We're in the local area. We serve people all over the country. We really believe that we're one of the North Florida's best kept secrets in helping people get better. So take a look at us online at Lakeview health.com and and learn more about how you can help course correct your life and find your true north absolutely well once again we would encourage you to check out the website lakeviewhealth.com all this information that we've put out in terms of contacting to learn more about affordability insurance coverage that sort of thing uh, you can get that by going to our facebook page at wsos radio and of course, Gina, once they call that phone number, what's going to happen? Yeah. We have people on staff right now that are going to be able to do what we call an initial assessment. They're going to compassionately and empathetically talk to you about what you're going through. They'll ask you some information about your history of use. They'll talk to you a little bit about why you're looking to come into treatment now. They'll evaluate whether or not um, there's a need for you to be in residential treatment. Not everyone needs residential treatment. And then we'll encourage you to um, provide us with any kind of information that you might have in regards to insurance. We've verify your insurance. We'll let you know what the cost is going to be before you even come to campus. So that way there are no surprises. And then we'll help you organize transportation. So if you're in the local area, obviously, if you need transportation, we can help you with that. And then we can actually get you into treatment, like Nick said, pretty quickly. I mean, we can turn you around within 24 hours, sometimes sooner. Well, if you're someone listening to us, obviously, uh, and you've reached that point where you want to consider this just like Nick did years ago, we would encourage you to call that telephone number and talk to someone who understands what you're dealing with. Maybe you're a family member or even a friend, and you just want to learn more about how this process works. Uh, This would be the first step, right? Absolutely. Make that call because that's how things will change for the better. 866-316-5113 is the number here in Northeast Florida. 866-316-5113. And Nick Oslin and Amy Brantley, thank you very much. This was a great hour. We learned a lot. Thank you for having me. Yeah, congratulations on your story and on your ongoing path. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Gina, we'll talk with you again next Friday, right? Yeah, we sure will. We look forward to it. All right, have a great weekend.